ها خلي الحريم يغنوا خليهم يغنوا ويدقوا على الدف حلال حلال in a wedding for the sisters and you brothers are chilling on the other side sipping on some tea sipping on some coffee having a conversation ها eating biryani biryani kalbani mishmashmani اي كلام باي كلام And we get this question often. Brother, uh, my uncle, my cousin, my nephew, somebody has a wedding. And this wedding will be a mixed wedding where males and females will be present. And where where the man, the soon to become husband, mashallah, tabarakallah, displays his do youthness <laughs> from day one. He shows you the lack of jealousy and the lack of manhood that he has from day one. Because if you think about it, only a feeble-minded lunatic will want other men to look at his wife in appreciation and admiration. Only if you've lost your mind completely and you have no sense of self-honor, no sense, no sense of jealousy, no sense of concern for your wife. On the wedding day, you let her put on her entire, the most beautiful dress she could probably put on and the most makeup she will ever have on and usually not wearing hijab, even if she's wearing hijab. And then you're going to display her for all the men to be like, mm, wow, all right. <laughs> hey, brother, <laughs> mashallah. Good choice, brother. People come about and back, mashallah, you, Allah, you picked a nice one. Majnoon ant, want majnoon? Aslan, if a man said to this to me, Qasaman Billah, he might get knocked out on the spot. And the Majnoon to be looking at my wife in the first place. And now you're making a, a, a comment about her appearance. But believe it or not, those semi-men, this is how they are. On his wedding day, man, when he needs Allah's blessings the most, dude be showing off his wife and putting her on public display for everybody to get a, a, a free look. At his wife, which he will be with later on, you know, in privacy. She's already been, she's already, she's had already 10, 20, 30 men commit zina with her with their eyes. Because, you know, the eyes commit zina. So half of the audience already committed zina with your wife before you even, uh, you know, <laughs> took care of business on, on, on the first night. Khalas, yeah, she's already a used product. She's already a used product. Had she been, had you remarried her after 10 divorces, it's better for you. There's nothing, no shame in marrying a divorcee. There's no shame in marrying a sister that has been married three, four times. No shame. Alhamdulillah. If she's righteous and she's pure. Better than a, a fresh virgin who's already been consumed by all these eyes of men. Who, who, who you don't know what's in their mind, huh? Huh? If you don't know men, I'm telling you sisters, you don't know men. I could make an oath that nine and a half men out of ten imagine all types of things when they see women. And you're only crazy and you've been fooled by liars if you think otherwise. It's a natural disposition in men. You cannot avoid it. Only the one who fears Allah, when he gets those ideas, he will, he will repel them. Only the one who fears Allah this much, this righteous, he will say, A'udhu Billah, and he will distract himself. Otherwise, men are like, man, they're, they're, yo, straight up, straight up. You've been fooled. If you think you're going to be walking around, you know, doing this and that. And this leads us to the next thing. Women on YouTube, those sisters that still have not, have not digested <laughs> the reality of men. Ya yeah, sister, Allah yahdik wa yusulhik. If you are appearing on YouTube, inshallah, ya akhti, out of 10 men who will watch you, out of 10 men who will watch you, eight are going to check you out and are going to imagine, wallah, if she's my wife, wallah, this will be a good wife, mashallah, tabarakallah. She's a da'ya, she's a caller to Islam. You know, she's out there doing this. Oh, look at this voice. MashaAllah, what a soft voice. What a soft spoken sister. Oh, look at the movements of her hand. Oh, if he sees any skin. Oh, MashaAllah, she's this type of skin or that type of skin. My type. If he likes a dark one, he's going to appreciate her darkness. If he likes a light skin, he's going to appreciate her light skin and her fairness. 
If he likes her bulky, he's going to appreciate her bulkiness. If he likes her skinny, he's going to appreciate You don't know. You don't know. What do you think men are? Do you think a man is going to watch you on YouTube and be like this the whole time? Yes, yeah, sister. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey, jazakallahu khairan. Naam. Oh, mashallah, the iman. The iman is increasing in my heart. Where, where are you living? Where are you living? Who have fooled you into thinking that you can, do, inshallah, you're wearing three niqabs. Inshallah, you're wearing three niqabs. A man is going to come and check you out. Bearing in mind that in the sick world of, of pornography, there are people with the fetish for hijabis. It's a whole genre of, of a pornography, hijabis. You don't understand the, the sick world we're living in. Wallah, you don't understand or you don't want to understand. And you try to justify your behavior by citing something from, from the Salaf. You have no one in the Salaf to support you. There's no justification for you to be on YouTube. You want to give talks? Go give talks in private homes among other sisters. But for you to be on YouTube for every Tom, Dick, and Harry to check you out, you are out of your mind. And you're wrong. And you're wrong. And we're not taking away the good. Wallahi, there's good. I, I admit, some of these sisters are well-spoken. They're very uh, eloquent, very gentle, what, whatever. They're kinder than, than men. No doubt, I'm, I'm putting the benefit on, on one side of the scale. Wallah, now comes all the harm, which is going to go boom, like this, gone. All the good is gone out the window. So, my brother, you want to get married? Segregated wedding, Habibi. A section for women so your wife can enjoy herself and put on her makeup and put on the stuff. And yay! And they can beat a drum for her, you know, a duff. And they can sing some cool nasheed. In a wedding for the sisters. And you brothers are chilling on the other side, sipping on some tea, sipping on some coffee, having a conversation, huh? Eating biryani, biryani, kalbani, mishmashmani, any kalam, any kalam. كل بطيخ يا شيخ كل بطاطس بهمبرجر اي كلام هم اجلس هاف فن يا اخي كيف الحال حياك الله yeah, this is this is decent men today we have some clowns clowns brother bring his wife put him next to her <laughs> آه شيخ الله يهديك ويصلحك بس والله العظيم شيء بيحزن المهم how did we get here huh huh yes